When it comes to negotiating in the workplace, confidence is key, but you also need to go in with a strategy. Award-winning organizational psychologist and author, Dr. Ella F. Washington joins us now to share strategies for effective workplace negotiations. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. This is such a hard topic. People don't do it a lot in their lives necessarily and are often very afraid to approach it. Yeah, I think the number one thing people don't realize is that you actually negotiate all the time. So for example, this morning I negotiated what time I could check in my hotel or with your kids, what time they're gonna go to bed, <laughs> yeah. or who's gonna wash the dishes, or what restaurant we're going to, to eat, right? So mm -hmm. we actually negotiate all the time. It's when we put that label, negotiations, on it that people often struggle and get intimidated based on uh, what people think negotiations is all about instead of what it really is, is about creating a win-win for both parties. Mm. All right, she so says it's best to be prepared when right. you go into this negotiation. And what do you mean by prepared? You want to do your research before any negotiation. Um, the more that you're prepared and the more that you have alternatives to an outcome, the better your negotiation will be, right? So if you are going for a new job, right, and you know how much you get paid in the market, the more market research you have, the better that you will be able to negotiate for the salary you want, but also other benefits that may be typical in your market. Okay, how do you find that information though? Because I feel like people's salaries are not just out there. So how do you know what the comparative salary is? There are so many websites today, like Glassdoor, you can even ask AI. Okay. There are a lot of places you can get information. Now, you want to double check it, right? Mm -hmm. And so I often would reach out to someone in that organization to see you know, what the salary range is. You can also ask HR professionals. Again, they may not tell you the exact salary, but you can learn the salary range. So the more information you have, the better that you are able to go into the negotiation prepared. Okay. So the other thing is a lot of people are afraid to ask those questions oh, yeah. or afraid to even say, hey, I, I, I'm not happy with the salary. I want something more or I want something different. How do you overcome that fear and yeah. that anxiety? It's so anxiety provoking. So the first thing you should know, especially when you're going for a new job, is that recruiters are prepared for you to negotiate. Um, there was a recent study that came out that said 70% of HR recruiters actually expect you to negotiate. So when you don't, you're automatically leaving things on the table. Mm. Of course, research has been really clear that women and people of color often don't negotiate compared to their counterparts, and it can lead to huge, huge gaps in their salary long term. And so one, understand that it's part of the process, mm -hmm. right? It's a dance. They're expecting. It, they want you to do it, you should do it, and your peers are doing it. So the second thing is understanding that, you know, it's a win-win. So it's not just asking for money. Like most people just think, oh, I'm asking something for myself. But instead of crafting it as something that I want for myself, how can you create a situation where you're saying, this is what I'm bringing to the table. With this higher salary, I have these additional responsibilities. Or this is a performance that I've had. This is how much I've bought to the company over the X amount of time that I'm negotiating for. And so you're creating this win-win mentality as opposed to I'm just here to ask you for a favor because that really is harder to negotiate versus this is a win-win for us both. And, and you're saying too this is not something that you do like once or twice a year you have to build those relationships throughout time to be able to do this right? Negotiating is all about relationships yeah. it shouldn't be a one-time thing and you shouldn't try to negotiate without understanding the other party what makes them tick what's important to them so it's actually all about relationships even in its definition you can't negotiate by yourself right? If you can make a unilateral decision, you don't need to negotiate with someone. So think about it as a way to deepen a relationship um, in a meaningful way. What if this company that you're working for is hell-bent on not giving you anything? How strong are your alternat alternatives? So what we say in negotiations is your BATNA, your best alternative to a negotiated agreement, meaning if this doesn't go the way that I want it to go, what's my alternative? Do I have another job offer? Am I actually really happy with my current job? And so what this new company is offering me, I could take it or leave it. The stronger your BATNA, the stronger your negotiation. So if you have three job offers on the table, then you have a much stronger negotiating position against that company, maybe like you said, that's hell-bent on not giving you what you deserve. I'd also say that company probably isn't the right place for you if they don't value you from the start. They know the market research, they know what you're bringing to the table, and so if they're so negative at the beginning, I would consider that a red flag to pay mm. attention to. Mm -hmm. You also say that you should reframe the word no. 
Okay, explain that. You know, so you want to respect boundaries, of course, if they're expressed. But in negotiations, a no can be a start to a further conversation. Understand where that no is coming from. Is it because they didn't have enough time to think about it? Is it because they're not clear on what you're actually asking? Mm -hmm. So reframing no's as opportunities to learn more information, opportunities to think about additional options, I think is really critical in negotiations. It shouldn't be a no. It should be a, okay, let's have a further conversation about this. Jumping off point. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Ella, thank you so much for joining us. EllaFWashington.com is her website. You can get her book on Amazon and on the website as well. Thanks Thank for having me. Thanks so much. Thank you.